Welcome back, everybody. I told you we'd be back in our room. We're going to bed. Mario's tired. I'm not really that tired. I got pop here. It's probably keeping me awake. Train voyage, day two. Another three-day trip. Man. The, you know what? I think the X-Nuts suck at their job if it's taking them this long to conquer the world. All right. Let's see what we got to deal with today. Let's go visit Mr. Penguin Boy. I don't care about my emails. I'm going to have like a whole bunch of unread emails by the time I, uh... By the time I actually look at that thing. Hello, Chef. It is a good feeling day, isn't it, friend of mine? Yes, a delicious day. I, it, I will make food so delicious it will make the day mad. Sure thing, buddy. Sure thing. Okie dokie. Aha, Ratatouille. How's it going? Ah, my dear Luigi. Your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Ah, more sus. Mr. Businessman. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. You know what? At least you have at least you know that you're losing your job is actually the least of the problem here. Nitro honey syrup. I don't think that in any sense that this guy is telling anything remotely realistic. A product that can raise the dead. Yeah. You're you you think you can sit here and cure the world's biggest problem? I don't think so. But if mixed with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold... Hey, doesn't that sound familiar? You know, two people who lost things that relate to seashells and gold? Uh, explosive results. In a sticky yet yummy shellac. If it falls into the wrong hands, well, I could lose more than my job. Yeah, that's problematic for us! Also, um, that threat was sent yesterday about a yummy, sticky doom, and his briefcase went missing today. Whoever this is is working really... Whoever is behind this is really confident that they'll get away with it if they stole the briefcase after they sent the threat. Though you definitely had it yesterday. Yeah. See, this guy is confident that they can beat me. Oh, well, yeah, if we if you if this guy had his briefcase yesterday and this train didn't stop, of course the thief is still on the train. Yep, the waitress lost shell earrings and the lady lost a gold ring. If the same person who stole those objects also has the nitro honey syrup, they are our culprit. Alrighty. So, we need to find a culprit. And luckily, I know exactly who to go interrogate first. Well, not interrogating the chef, but I want to see if anybody says anything different. Because honestly, I want to see how you would lead up to finding this. Maybe the ghost knows something? Oh, the ghost isn't even in here. Oh well. Well, I guess go. it's daytime. Ghosts don't like daylight. Hello, chubby man. Have you seen anything recently? Well, I mean, he was actually more flattered that you stole and ate the whole thing. That just means someone liked his food. I guess, in a way, it is a compliment. And a crime. Well, I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll talk to other people another time. Vital paper. Maybe we'll go talk to the conductor again. Uh, there's a lot of movement, a lot of back and forth on this train, too. Luckily, it's not nearly as big as anywhere else, really, but... It's still pretty big. 
These cars are long. Also, I have a feeling we're not actually going to be able to finish this chapter today. Or in this week of episodes, so. We'll be back, like, another time with the rest of it. No, he didn't see anything. You guys still arguing over your child? Yeah, maybe you guys should actually pay attention to your kid. Hmm. Hey, sir, I found the paper. I found this clue. It's important and complicated. That's one of the contracts for my upcoming business deal. Yes, sure. Of course you knew all about that. Where did you find this very important clue that you totally knew was important? Cabin 1. Zip Toad's place. Come to think of it, I don't believe I've seen him around today. I keep thinking I'm hearing something. I don't know if it's a fan on my laptop or if it's something else making noise. In any case, Zip Toad seems to be a little sus. Uh, thing is, he's actually not in his car. For whatever reason, that little shit's hiding in ours. Another document from the briefcase. The suspect must be in here somewhere. You need a Vivian, you need a Vivian another time here. Because if you hide in the shadows for long enough... There he is. Say that again. Say I won't be catching you that easily again. So this was our man all along, pretending to be Zipdoed, I see. All while pilfering things from others to aid your evil plan. You yeah, sure you did. So if you knew, why wouldn't you say anything, dumbass? You didn't know. I solved this case, and you're just taking the credit. Oh, shut up, Pennington. You didn't do shit. I'll be taking that. And that. And those. Well, why don't you open your briefcase and find out? I'm more thankful that we're not going to die. Alrighty. Well, that takes care of that. But who is... Why would this famous actor plan our deaths? Wouldn't you all like to know that? Give it a bit of, give it a bit of time. Everything will be revealed in the next literal cutscene. <laughs> I think not slick. You think you can hold me? No way. Golden would flip if I let that happen. Hey, yo! So, yeah, that wasn't... There wasn't even a zip toad here. That that guy was not even a real. It was just Dubliss. It was just that little sucker. Hey! There's no exit on this train car. You, are you seriously making me go all the way over here just to leave this train? Oh. The nerve of this game. Making me walk for content? Where does one buy a train? My friend. That's my problem with the rich people. Someone lifted the drawbridge. Here's the real question. Why isn't there a... Why on earth... Uh, actually, no, now that I think about it... Oh, 
I saw some suspicious shadowy person wearing a hat go into the station. And I say it's he, but I think we know it's not. Well, both Beldum and Dupless wear hats. But here's the thing. We know that Beldum is the shadowy one because Dupless is just a literal bedsheet. So he just assumed Beldum's gender. Good job, dude. All right. Riverside Station, the only area in this entire chapter where we're going to engage in any enemies. Normally, we'd have to go down here because this is where the bridge switch is. Remember to always return the control room key to the office, which for some reason is literally on the other end of the station. So, yeah. This station is not exactly the most well thought out lo um, layout for an area. Realistically speaking, the office is like so far from here, first off. Second of all, I'm going to say it right now. The office, the, the path to the office requires you to be a tube. I don't know where. Well, actually, a little bit more thought about it. I could see a way around it, but... Ooh, rough puff. The way we get to the office is really weird if you want to look at it from a general standpoint. All right. So, let's talk about these guys. Rough puffs are literally stronger version of dark puffs. These are the OG, these are the normal variants. Dark puffs are actually a subspecies. And by subspecies, I mean a variant of Rough Puffs. No, no, although I don't think the world would end if you did confuse them, but anyway. Yeah, so they're like pretty average in terms of stats. They're pretty strong, but they they don't have a lot of HP. Like literally, between Mario and Goombella, they can finish off a Rough Puff pretty easily. Uh, unless they do that, which I totally saw coming. Um, so... Hey, let's just do this. I'm not going to use this anyway, not going to lie. And it didn't even work. Cool. And I got a mushroom. Oh, that's okay. I guess I'll just hammer. Because the stopwatch didn't even work. Piss off about items that decide just not to work like that. And now we're going to get struck by lightning. Cool. To hell with you, you stupid cloud. Ah. That was so, that was frustrating. Well, not frustrating, but that was dumb. I could have stopped him from striking me with lightning, but nah. Just decided not to work. <laughs> Alright. A little bit of work here. We're gonna need uh, hoops. He's <laughs> spinning around. Spin around on the gear, waiting for... Oh, wait a minute. Pretty sure there's also a star piece over here. Let's get that first. And... Oh, I'm going to have to wait a little bit again. But we can spin while we do it. Yeah, okay, so... um, Why is the key to a door hiding in this area of all places? Also, what... I Oh, I guess these are the gears. Maybe they, they work the giant clock on the top of the station. I don't know. That's... That's the, that's the assumption I'm going to make. But, like, again, why on earth is the key in the gear room? Spin! Spin! I don't think I... I think I screwed that jump up. Don't charge. And super guard. Nope. Oh. Oh. Well, that's relatively annoying. Okay, so, we're taking lightning again. But we're only taking one because I can take care of this guy. Ooh, and... Pfft. Nope. Oh, well, I was literally missing three FP anyway. Who cares? Ah, uh, you know what? I was so... Co I was just ready to super guard that shit. I'm ready to just super guard anything I'm not used to super guarding, and I think that's a very dumb idea, but that's exactly why I do it anyway. Uh, 
All right, take a hike, you guys. Got take. I'm taking our nine star points and I'm leaving. Get some health back. Maybe I should consider. You know what? These are just gonna sit in my inventory. I might as well use two of them just to restore my HP fully. I usually always end up using items after I've reached a point where I can't fit anymore in my inventory. It's like when I get a dried shroom, I just take chuck something random, use the dried shroom, and then grab the other item. But like I guess at this point, it's like why not just use those mushrooms that are gonna sit in your inventory? All right, and we're outside. Very nice setting, by the way. I love this area. Oh, hey, an HP plus. I'm pretty sure we've already had one of those too, but considering, like the defense plus, we're getting it in a chapter, might as well. A free reason not to upgrade my HP. Again, not like I'm gonna need any of these in the future. And, hey, remember these guys? Hmm. Poison pokies. If I encounter four of them, I'm ruining powder. I'm gonna ruin powder them. And I guess I gotta keep Koops out, despite the fact that he's dealing three damage. He's really the only thing that can... Well, I guess I could be using Bobbery. Ouch. No. Let's take care of that guy. PowerShell. Strategy. This is how you strategically play this game. Strategy. Bam. Whammo bammo. You're dead. So, I guess another reason I'm not using the Ruin Powder on the Rough Puffs is because much like how fire enemies get healed by fire moves, um, you know, lightning, electric moves kind of heal lightning, electric based enemies. Um, there's only three of them, so nah. But, I will use my Earthquake, because why not? I don't need all of these items. I think one thing I need to make sure I have, at the very least... I guess I didn't need to defend there, because need, both Koops and Mario have a defense. I will need some Thunder Rages for the boss battle of this chapter. Damn it! I thought he was going to attack Mario, so I my super guarding momentum, my super guarding timing was uh, timed up for Mario there. Ah, you hate to see it. Pokey flings its segment, misses you, goes right for your partner. I'll take whatever's in here. Ooh, speak of the devil! I'll take that. Ooh! I've been ambushed. What's with you guys in the Mr. Softeners? Also, drop! I can't- Coops can't reach you from here. And I actually have a defense, so this actually bothers me. You know what? Let's see if we can get it. Bingo. Let's go. Let's go. Take him down. Oh, come on. Once again, I was ready for Mario. Stop attacking my partner. Also, now we can't now I can't attack the pokey. <laughs> God damn it. All right, fine. I'll just swap to Bobbery. No, oh, okay. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess yes. Pummel. I hope there's a poison. I hope there's a set of four po po poison pokies because I just want to use the ruin powder. Shines bright. Um, in that case, I'm also gonna get a video note just in case there are four poison pokies right here. Meh. Nah, you know what? Just in case. I'm going to super hammer him, though, because this will do more. Yeah, baby. And at least there is... Well, I mean, I guess I could also just do this. Boom! Five damage. Oh, wait. That only does five. I thought that did six. Oh, yeah. No, I don't think it increases in power. Those guys move fast. Hmm. How about we just do this? I actually don't think that they can even charge their lightning. This is basically a 6 FP ruin powder here. Oh! Someone didn't get confused! Free target! 
Let's see you do it. Let's see you do it. Aw, oh, he's charging. God damn, that's not good. Yo! He did it. He did the funny. He's doing the funny! And he spiked himself because Pokies can't attack themselves. Alright, I have an idea. Let's do this. Also, you don't get to see enemies get poisoned very often. No shot! No shot! <laughs> okay, that was a hilarious turn, no doubt about it. Okay, I would like to point out several things about that. First off, I was wrong. They can definitely attack their partners with lightning. Second of all... Poison pokies can't attack themselves because the spike rule applies to the enemies as well. Third off, third off, you actually do not get to see enemies get poisoned very often because nobody on Mario's team is capable of poisoning. So it's interesting. You don't get to see that very often, if at all, because poison pokies are really so, and future piranhas are the only things capable of poisoning. Uh, in a standard enemy-wise, as far as I'm concerned, because I know Gloomtail, a late-game boss, can poison. Um, anything else down here? No? Then we'll see you guys in the next episode, because we had way too much fun in that battle. See you guys then.